it is great for hot really hot summer days <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Charlene for those of you who are new and to my loyal subscribers thank you as always for coming <music> by the title I'm talking about another perfume that I have a love hate relationship with I'm talking about this beauty right here this is the bronze goddess azure by Estee Lauder so you guys may be very familiar with the original bronze goddess which I have a sample of right here I started seeing images all over my Instagram feed of this baby right here she's so pretty I love the cap as well and I just had to have it. Not only did the notes call out to me, the bottle is just summer. So I originally did an unboxing slash first impression back with some other perfumes that I had purchased. It was like a mini haul. When I sprayed it, I wasn't in love. I'm not even gonna lie. I was just like, what is this? So the note composition and the actual juice were definitely different or at least not what I expected. If you own this fragrance, let me know what you guys think. So anyway, I held on to it because I know sometimes your taste change, your perfume choices change, even your nose changes some. The weather and temperature are also very significant in how a perfume performs and how it reacts on your body. So I held on to this because as you can see, I've really not used it since I purchased it. Last week, I wanted something refreshing and cool and very summer. And this bottle called out to me and I was like, let me try this again. And lo and behold, I was not ready for how much I would love this thing on my body. Throughout the day, I got nice whiffs of it on my body and I was really, really enjoying it. And now I cannot see it differently now. Okay, so I'm going to put it here on my left and I'm going to put a nice spritz of the original that I got on my right when i spray them both i prefer the original 100 percent however on my skin they are completely different fragrances like the azure has nothing to do with the original hit the like button if you agree i can definitely detect all the citruses on this side it is described as a solar citrus floral fragrance and that's exactly what it is so the top notes are sicilian lemon italian bergamot as well as Calabrian Mandarin. So citrus, boom, in the opening. The blend of citruses, they really come through. At the heart of it, we have Moroccan orange flower. We have neroli petals and fig nectar. In the dry down, we have coconut milk, which really intrigued me on this one. Musk, cedar wood, and ambrox. To me, I don't find it to be very creamy, it's still very bright. It's still very citrus heavy to me. Once Goddess Azure is not blind by safe, just because what I expected and what I got were very, very different. But now in the warmer months, like, like right now, I love it. I love it on my hand right now. So I think I'm going to make that my scent of the day. It's like the second time in less than a week. So that says a lot. It flourishes in the heat. It flourishes on your skin. It's just magnificent, a perfect, summer fragrance i would say but i don't think it's blind by safe and like i said definitely not what i expected i'm very much loving it more now in the warmer months on the other side we have the bronze goddess which is the original version and i immediately love this one i immediately love it it's not something i know i have to get used to whatsoever i just know i love it so although this one is also described as a solar floral fragrance, this one is a solar citrus floral. So citrus heavy over here, you have the citrus, but it's a warmer citrus scent. This goddess has ginger in it. It also has jasmine and creamy coconut. Um, it has frangipani in this one. In the base notes, we have vanilla absolute. Hmm, that explains why I like it so much. Uh, cashmere, musk, and amber. Definitely gives it that warmer uh, feeling that I personally prefer. Those of you who own Bronze Goddess, the original, do you think that the coconut is more detectable here than over here? Because to me it is. In the, in the original, I detect it. Oh, I like this one so much, y'all. 
I might have to get that one. I would strictly use this during the summer. And this one can be a year round scent, but it is very tropical friendly. <laughs> My love hate relationship with Bronze Goddess Azure is obvious. Some of the notes just don't immediately captivate me. They don't immediately call out to me. While the original Bronze Goddess is like, yes, all me. I love, love, love this one. And I totally think I'm gonna buy it. Just because of how it is like developing on my skin right now, I am truly liking it. I had tested it before. And even then I knew that I liked it more. Like I said, this is definitely a perfect summer fragrance. Um, but only in the summer, <laughs> only in the summer for me personally. And Bronze Goddess over here, Bronze Goddess, the original, is also perfect for summer, but there's definitely more flexibility in using it. But that is it for my quick uh, video on Bronze Goddess Azure. I like it more now. I still don't love it, honestly. I still don't love it, but I appreciate it more. It is great for hot really hot summer days <laughs> bronze goddess is is a gem and i have been sleeping on this one and i think i'll be actually purchasing the full size this is pretty and it has the coconut the coconut is the most prominent note to me right now and then i'm getting that warmth from that vanilla beautiful anyway thank you as always for watching don't forget to sound off below let me know what you guys think about Bronze Goddess Azure by Estee Lauder as well as the original Bronze Goddess. Share your thoughts with us. Let us know what you think. If you've made it to the end of the video and you really enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't already. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.